There we go. I can't believe you're photographing the wall. I'm photographing the, actually I'm photographing the window. Okay, so hey, this is not a spring chicken. We're here with old Cam doing comments on the headlines of today. Well, she was going to do that, that <laughs> swimsuit. <laughs> she had a long night. We had a gentleman that was sick and she and you know, actually the guest of a party she went to was a big, a big movie, a big mogul and he got sick at his own party. So guess who was the babysitter? The one that doesn't drink. Well, it always happens at parties. It's, it's like this is what happens. You don't drink, you end up being the babysitter. And that ended up changing our entire schedule, and we lost the son. I know. Well, in other work news today, study Tai Chi helps ease symptoms of Parkinson's. Probably because it makes them concentrate. The lack of concentration is what causes Parkinson's disease. I'm a, Are you serious? I'm, yeah, I'm well, assuming um, if I'm right, Virtually everybody I've seen that has Parkinson's disease all had one thing in common. What? They were tremendously athletic. Oh, really? I didn't know And that. I think it may be a result of injuries that they had. I mean, like I, I grew up, um, Lou Gehrig, for instance, I know what caused Lou Gehrig's disease. Lou Gehrig had did a motion picture, he did a western, and he was hit in the head with what they thought was a breakaway bottle, and it was mm -hmm. a solid bottle. And I, after that, his... He was never the same. He developed Lou Gehrig's disease. And I think I noticed that people with Parkinson's disease were boxers. They were oh. ice hockey players, football players, people that are got hit a lot. Mm. And North Dakota returns to the Fighting Sioux nickname. God, that's getting to be more too goddamn politically correct. I mean, like, it's just um, you can't say anything anymore without pissing somebody off. They don't give a damn about well. You know, you know, Krautland or something else. If you're German, you can you can be derogatory remarks towards the Germans and Norwegians and those people all you want. The Nordics are perfectly acceptable. Mm -hmm. You say anything like you know, the, the you know the the fighting you know Frenchmen, but they'll 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 get pissed off about you. GM and the greatest profits in its history. Which is a mathematical impossibility. First of all, they owe $45 billion. They're, they're massively in debt. You can't be profitable if you're in debt. That is a, that, by Obama math, I guess you can. Mm. But if you owe $5 for every dollar that you have coming in, yeah. that is not a profitable company. That's a company that's in, been going toilet. I mean, they're, they're, everybody that bought stock in a company under the, after he bankrupted everybody else, has lost 10% uh, of the value of, the, of their, what they spent. It's never going to be recovered. And lawsuit seeks to block Google's privacy changes. Yeah, because as they found out, there is no privacy with Google. Oh, really? Well, no, they're reading. Um, they found out that Google was reading all of the iPhones um, and all of the iPads that are cooked at their system. Seemed that, was that a surprise? Yeah, like they were in trouble. They, the reason why the new privacy changes was because they got in trouble with the feds that were doing exactly the same thing. So they redid everything, and now they're doing it all over again. So it's what happens when you deal with an octopus. And NRC approves the first new nuclear plant in a generation. Okay, there's a difference between approving it, getting it built, and ever letting it go online. The Democrats will never allow the nuclear facility to go online. We have um, we, we have uh, facilities for oil cra cracking that they're not letting be used online because they don't meet. They think they could be environmental hazards, so therefore the Democrats will fight them in court. And leaving a no-child law, Obama lets 10 states flee. I know. The, the thing about, okay, what it means is you have, it forced teachers to do the job under, um, under Bush, and the teachers' union doesn't want to do their job. I mean, um, it, it, I can remember, we want, okay, I went to college at a time when it became that if you couldn't, get, if you couldn't work in the fields, you became a college instructor. Nowadays, as if you... Uh, if you're incapable or incompetent, you be, if you can't work, you become a teacher. Mm -hmm. That's not a good thing to say. I mean, well, God, these guys, I once made 100 bucks an hour as a substitute teacher when I was in high school. That's a lot of money. Yeah, and it was an hour. Wow. And I didn't do anything because I was a babysitter, which is, you know, when I was in, uh, you know, uh, t because I was sort of smart from age. I'm a high school kid taking 100 bucks an hour way back when. And I didn't have to do anything more than to, to sit there and, and look at the students and tell them, don't do that. 
And don't do that. Dwindling time and rising tension make Iran top fear. Oh yeah, they just announced this morning they're building a new nuclear facility. The only reason this new facility has for existence is to build nuclear weapons. And if they get the nuclear weapons, I think they will throw Obama out on his rear end. I mean, this is something that the Democrats and Republicans both agree on. You have to keep the Iranians from getting a nuclear bomb. And water and gas continue flowing from Alaska blowout. I, mean, I don't know why somebody just didn't throw a switch. That's what you do is you shut it off. Instead, mm -hmm. they're keeping it flowing because it brings money in. And why Michigan is Mitt Romney's D-Day? Because he was born there. His father was a governor and a senator there. His father ran for president of the United States there. You know, so, and uh, then the family money is in Michigan. So, but he's going to lose Michigan because... That's um, pretty sad. He will lose Michigan to uh, Santorum, and they're basically throwing the bankroll. The problem is, is that Santorum picked up 10 million bucks yesterday from uh, people. So now he's fighting back at Romney about uh, mud being thrown everywhere. I mean, I'm going to put it this way. If the Republicans really wanted to win the election, you'd think they would be running the candidates that they're running, and they handpick them, folks. They just don't decide to run. An underwear bomber proud to kill in the name of God. I know, but the problem is that uh, the, um, Allah does not approve of killing people in their name any more than does the Christian God or, the, he, or, any, or any of the gods. They don't approve of killing in their name. So, um, you, if you use God's name, any, you know, the God's name for justifying killing somebody, then you're blaspheming the God that you're worshiping. Mm. And the U.S. won't allow more fungicide in orange juice. I didn't know there was they fungicide in to, orange juice. There wasn't supposed to be. You have to understand that under Obama, the food, the, uh, the, the food administration has basically, FDA has dwindled in its abilities. They were, grump they were grumping about Bush. Well, Obama has cut it back to nothing. And New Jersey hometown to reclaim Whitney Houston at funeral. I saw that thing. All they're doing is running that stupid funeral over and over and over. And I mean, I, I, like I was like, this morning over on my side of Facebook, I was, we were in a discussion about the day will come that you're going to have some guy that had a hit record in the top, he, basically he was in the 100 position on the 100 position of the top records. He's going to die from an overdose of drugs and they're going to dedicate 24 hours of programming across the networks to how, you know, how great a loss was a guy that maybe sold 20,000 records. Mm -hmm. And Boehner bargains on payroll tax cut, and now races for a fallout. They're going to throw him out because he was um, he lost 50 percent of the Republicans. He cannot win election. They said well, he picked up some of the die-hard um, some of the die-hard people in the Tea Party. Yeah, mm -hmm. five. And Rick Santorum's campaign surges, but pressure intensifies. Well, because the Republicans are trying to knock mm -hmm. him off because he can't. He basically he is so he is a. He couldn't win re-election in his own state. He's not going to be elected president. But if Santorum, Paul, and Genrich continue to run, Romney is not mm -hmm. going to win a floor fight at the Republican convention. They're going to go with somebody like the uh, Rubio of uh, Florida, who, oh, really? who, who basically <laughs> has the great success story and can speak Spanish. And they'll vote for if you don't think the Spanish people in this country will not vote for a Republican that believes in and doesn't believe in gay rights and is a Catholic and all that. I mean, they'll go, this guy will win so many votes that Obama will be overwhelmed. And Supreme Court blocks Montana's ruling on campaign spending limits. Well, you know, every time the Democrats get in control, they restrict everybody's spending except for the, uh, except for the unions. Okay. Unions can spend as much money as they want, even though the workers are going to court to force the unions to stop spending their money to support political candidates that they don't approve of. And a new web video shows Mitt Romney hounded by drug problem. That's a dog problem. Oh, dog problem. You know, she's <laughs> getting new glasses soon, so she's, you know, it, 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 you know. But what it is is she generally makes my screen so big that I... You know, I know, I didn't get to make it extra big today. I know, I kept her hands off of it, so, but it's, it's dogs. She's got, basically even <laughs> dogs don't trust Romney. Oh, gosh, concerns over Iran and Syria prompt a U.S. visit to Israel. Well, they're trying to explain how 
our president, is, who is a Muslim, everybody knows he's a Muslim, but the Muslims don't like him, is going to actually help Israel if they, de if they decide to destroy it. Uh, this guy would simply let the state of Israel be destroyed if he thought it was expedient. And ICE director praises two agents involved in workplace shooting. Okay, what happened was they were going to a, they were going to an anger management session that the ICE agent didn't want to attend, so he just simply shot the person and forced him to go there. Oh, really? Yeah, he, you know, the anger management problem, okay, it is not an illness, folks. If you get pissed off at somebody, it's because you're mad at them. It, it is not an act. You can't cure it by going to an anger management, as they did discover. <laughs> Are you quick. serious? Yeah. Oh, and a Monty bubble is in front of the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Today there are more things you can't say than you can say. Yeah, look at that.